Hello students, welcome to Swarovsa's classes. In this video, we are going to solve ASET September 2019 question paper and the mathematics portion. So, we will start with question number 17 where we have solved the previous questions in our other videos. So, question 17 here says, the rank of the matrix, here you can see we have a 3 cross 3 matrix, is equal to 1. If the value of C is, as you can see in the third column, in the second row and third row, we have uh, equations c minus 4 and c plus 1 so we need to find the value of this c out of this matrix where whose rank is equal to 1 so in order to the rank equal to 1 the uh, this second column and the third column should be multiples of the first column in order to uh, in order to the rank to be uh, 1 we need to uh, we need to make this uh, column 2 and column 3 are uh, multiples of column 1. So as you can see column 2 is already a multiple of column 1 if we multiply column 1 by minus 2. If we multiply column 1 by minus 2 we get column 2. So here you can see minus 1 into minus 2 gives 2 and 2 into minus 2 gives minus 4 and 1 into minus 2 gives minus 2. So column 2 is already uh, multiple of column 1 but we need to find the multiple uh, we need to make column 3 a multiple of column 1 and from that we can find the value of C. Uh, so, as you can see, if we multiply minus 5, we will get a column 3. If we multiply column 1 into minus 5, we will get column 3 and this can be found by the very first row, minus 1 and 5. So, in order to make column 3 a multiple of column 1, what we can do is multiply minus 5. So, if we multiply minus 1 into minus 5, we will get 5. So, we have satisfied the first row. Now, in second row, as you can see, we have 2 and C minus 4. So, this will be 2 into minus 5, which is equal to C minus 4. So, from here, we can find the value of C very easily, which is minus 10 is equal to C minus 4. Hence, C will be equal to minus 6. So, our value of C comes up to minus 6. We can again check this value of C in order to uh, satisfy row 3. So we can check here we have for row 3 this is for row 2 and for row 3 we can see 1 is equal to okay so we will multiply minus 5 with row 1 so here we will have 1 into minus 5 which will be equal to c plus 1 that is row 3 and here we have minus 5 which is equal to c plus 1 so here we will have minus 5 minus 1 which is equal to c and the value of c is coming up to minus 6 which we have found over here also for row 2 uh, yeah row 2 and for row 3 also 6 is minus 1 so our answer uh, which is the value of c is minus 6 in our option number b hence option b will be the correct answer to question number 17. now moving on to the next question which is question number 18 over here so question 18 says if 0.272727 dot 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 x then again 0 0.727272 are in harmonic progression then x must be so here you can see we have a number an infinite number which is 0 0.272727277 and so on then we have a middlemost value which is x and again we have a number which is 0 0.727272 and so on goes on so we need to find the value of x if these three numbers are in harmonic progression so as you can see we must let our first digit to be y which will be 0 0.272727 and so on so we will let this to be y now what we can do is we can multiply our y with 100 which is 100 y we will multiply 100 on both sides so this will be 100 y and this time it will come here 27.272727 and so on so this 27 goes on and on so we can consider as many 27s we want so here we can see 100y is equal to 27.272727 and here also we can write 100y is equal to as you can see the decimal part over here the decimal part over here 0, uh, 0.272727 is similar to the value of y what we considered which is also 0 0.272727 so what we can write over here is 27 plus y so this is 27 plus y hence uh, subtracting y from both sides we get 99 y is equal to 27 and the value of y is 27 by 99 if we divide this by 3 we get okay so we'll divide directly by 9 we will get 3 by 11 so the value of y has come up to 3 by 11 here we will mark this 
y's value as 3 by 11 and you can see over here that this value that is the second value which is 0 0.727272 is exactly the uh, subtraction from one of the first value if we subtract 1 minus 0 0.272727 and so on our answer will be 0 0.727272 and so on so this 0 0.272727 we have considered to be y so this will be 1 minus y is equal to 0 0.7272 and so on so here also in this case we uh, get 1 minus y and the value of y we have come up to is 3 by 11 so this is 1 minus 3 by 11 is equal to 0 0.7272 and so on so 1 minus 3 by 11 will give us 8 by 11 which is equal to 0 0.7272 and so on so basically our GP has turned into something else. So here we have 0 0.272727 which we have considered y and the value of y is 3 by 11. So we will consider 3 by 11. Then the second term is x and the third term is 0 0.727272 which has come up to 8 by 11. So we have found a new harmonic progression which is 3 by 11, a x and 8 by 11. So simply as you can see, we basically need to find the middle value out of 3 numbers which are in harmonic progression so this has a very basic formula which is defined already so we will use that formula and find the middle value of this harmonic progression so the middle value which is x can be found out with using the formula which is x is equal to we will multiply 2 with the first term which is 3 by 11 with the second term which is 8 by 11 and in the denominator we will have first term which is 3 by 11 plus the third term which is 8 by 11 so basically this is the formula to find the middle value in the harmonic progression so here we have 2 into 3 by 11 into 8 by 11 and in denominator you can see 3 by 11 plus 8 by 11 gives 11 by 11 which is equal to 1 so all we are left with the numerator is 2 into 3 by 11 into 8 by 11 which is 2 into 3 is 8, 6 and 6 into 8 is 48 so this is 48 divided by 121 which is 11 into 11 121 so our answer over here is 48 by 121 so let's check the options so in options as you can see we do not have any uh, number provided but we have the character of the number which will be the value of x so let's check over here this number 48 divided by 1 to 1 as you can see is a rational number this is a rational number and in options you can see that uh, a rational number lying between 0 and 1 is an option and you can see this 48 by 121 is positive number hence this 48 divided by 121 is obviously greater than 0 as well as this is less than 1 since the numerator is short or numerator is small than the denominator so 48 by 1 to 1 is obviously less than uh, 1 so basically 48 lies between 0 and 1 being a rational number our option number A satisfies the answer which is the value of x which is 48 by 1 to 1 a rational number lying between 0 and 1. So option A is the correct answer to this question. Now moving on to the next question which is question number 19 over here. So question 19 says if log base A B is equal to log B base C where A B C are positive and none equals to unity then okay. So here you can see we have log uh, B and in base we have a and here which is equal to log c and in base we have b and these three are positive as well as none of these three are equal to 1 then we need to find that log a okay log 10 log a 10 base and log b base 10 and log c base 10 are in gp hp or ap or none of these so we need to find whether these three numbers are in gp ap or hp so first of all we can write this as log a b is equal to log b in base and c so uh, in logarithm we can define this as log b divided by log a the uh, the element in the uh, base comes in the denominator uh, with a log and these two logs will have of base 10 similarly here we have log base 10 c divided by log base 10 b so in this case all you can see over here is the ratio or we can say the multiple of these two digits are same okay so in options you can see we have ap gp and hp what are the formats of these ap gp and hp okay so here you can see in our ap 
in ap our first term is assumed to be a then the second term okay so this is first term a now the second term is a plus t the third term is a plus 2d and so on so in this format you can see we have uh, been adding new numbers to the uh, first term and the uh, progression uh, arithmetic progression goes on but in this case in our case there is nothing to be added so this can't be an ap now moving on to gp what is the format of gp the format of gp is a comma ar comma ar square comma ar cube and so on so r is a term which is multiplied by each term in the starting and this series goes on so let's check whether our this format is in a, a gp or not so as you can see the, the difference okay so this is the difference log 10b okay so as you can see over here log 10b if we cross multiply this so this will be log 10b whole square and this will be log base 10a log base 10c so as you can see uh, the first term and the third term if we multiply the first term and the third term we are getting the square of the second term and this as you know is a property of gp which says the first term multiplied by the third term gives the square of the second term as you can see we have a into a r square which gives a square r square which is exactly the square of the second term which is a r so basically our answer here which is log 10 b divided by log 10 a and log 10 c divided by log 10 b which both are equal is a form in gp which says that the first term and the third term as you can see here this is the first term this represents the third term if we multiply both of these we will get the square of the second term as you can see here log 10 b if we cross multiply this we will get the square of the second term hence these three which is log a base 10 log b base 10 and log c base 10 are in gp so our answer to this question will be option number b so i will like to end this video here you will find more solutions to a set september 2019 in our further video.